Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. This is part 15. In today's episode, God willing, we'll finish the Lost World. Next up is another tree level, Swoopy Salvo. We've seen Swoopy in the roll call, but we haven't encountered it yet. This is the only level we'll see it in. Not much to it, but yeah. Swoopy just flies around blindly and usually ends up getting stuck in a tree. But at the same time, they also come at you the same way that Baza and Lemguin do in great numbers. So yeah, they can be dangerous when they want to be. In fact, we're going to see a huge flock of them right about now. Look at them go. On the other hand, they're not so bad. As long as you're fast, you'll be fine. And at the same time, this level will have the remaining bonus coins. And this one's the easiest of the bunch. Quite simple. Use the peckers as platforms, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Nothing to it. Simple as pie. Nah, eh, well, then again, pie's not simple, at least not from a mathematical standpoint. But why am I talking about math? We're playing video games here. Come on, move it. Well, so far so good. But we've got more of those woodpeckers on the way. Gotta fly fast, gotta keep a cool head. Excellent. But this next group might actually get the best of me. I gotta fly through oncoming traffic to get to a bonus round. Damn it! Missed my shot! Well, Lord knows if the swoopies didn't get me, the buzzers would have. But let's not think about that now. Let's think about bananas. Big piles of bananas. Give me that, give me that. Take that too. Come on. Good. Doing fine, doing fine. Dive bomb for it. Go, go, go. Whew, close. Too close. Good. Almost got it. Almost got it. All right. You know, considering that they're flying really, really slow, that's kind of a dangerous bonus round if you think about it. All right. Another case of one shot and get it right or else you don't get another chance. And fortunately, I did. Oh, good. Checkpoint. Go! Ah, perfect. Got my Kong back. Okay, now you need to be really careful with your movements. But then again, it's nothing I can't handle. Go away. Okay, now it starts to get a little dangerous. And you've got a bunch of these guys sticking in the wood. Again. Go! That's our final bonus round. And it's pretty easy too. Just make use of the team toss, like so. And you're good. I missed! I'm not supposed to miss! Come on Dixie, don't let me down! That could have been ugly. But at least I got him. And that was our last bonus coin. So yes, time to celebrate. Well, not quite yet, but job well done. Excellent. What, I missed the O? Oh well, not a big deal. Anyway, we're just about at the end. A few more flocks of woodpeckers to deal with, and that's it. A loop! Nice. And this is the last group. For all the marbles. Oh. Damn you, kitty! Whatever. At least we're there. Good job, Dixie. Good job. Oh yeah, that's right. I still gotta blow open that last rock. And now that I've got all the bonus coins, we should be able to afford it. Plus we've got the cogs in tow. Is that a cog you've got there? You know, I reckon it'll fit on the strange box which has been here ever since I moved in. Pop it on and see what happens. Looks like you're gonna need to find a few more of them to fit it all together. Ah, by the looks of things, just one. By the way, did I mention that my last special costs 25 coins? But hey, it'll definitely be worth it. Sir, that is a bold-faced lie. I know from experience. 
but on the other hand, it's a dirty job, so let's do it. That's the last one. And this final level before the final boss is a real challenge for amateurs and pros alike. But there's one big downside. Waiting to get there is just so boring. You have to watch this animation of the burning fuse, and you can't skip it. Ugh. Of course, when you finally get access to the level, you can breathe a sigh of relief and get ready for some rocket-fueled excitement. The level is Rocket Rush. No bonus rounds, just a DK coin. And just like Poisonous Pipeline, reverse controls. And a very unique mechanic as well. We're jumping into a rocket barrel. An actual rocket. First, you descend down the cliff. Get out of the fuel and use the bees to slow your progress. If you hit the ground when you're going too fast, you die. So make sure you keep your wits about. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. You don't necessarily have to get all the fuel barrels to win, but it's advised that you do. After all, better safe than sorry. At least that's what I always say. Come on. Easy does. There we go. So I'm in pretty good shape right now. Okay, and I've got another bucket of fuel coming up. Yes, sir. Ah, shit. Whew. That was close. Easy, easy. Okay, there's the checkpoint. And pretty soon, it'll be time to rock it up. There's the ignition barrel. Along the way, you'll see bananas. Use them as your guide, and you'll be fine. But then again, I remember this level pretty well, so I don't think I'm going to mess up. Just stay put wherever you can. Follow the bananas if you have to. And you'll be fine. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, one last sweeping turn and that'll be it. Uh, is that gonna cost me? Oh, no. We're good. Final order of business. And it falls on you, kitty. alley -oop! Good shot. And hey, since we're here, let's tap the keg. Cheers to a job well done. Ha <laughs> ha. And we've come full circle. Now let's place that cog in and let's see what happens. Hey, you've got another one of those cogs. Put it on the machine and see if anything happens. Well, they're all in. Doesn't seem to have done too much though, does it? Yeah, you're right. What on earth is that racket? Hey, take a look outside, Kongs. You won't believe it! You're probably right, but... Let's just take a look anyway. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Well, the truth is, with all the cogs on that box, it reactivates the volcano. The water turns to magma, and up comes a submarine. It belongs to Baron K. Rulenstein, and on board is the final boss. Welcome to the Nautilus. But first, something I want to show you. With the reactivation of the volcano, it affects the surrounding area. I mean, look at this place. When we first played it, it was puke green. Now you can tell that the heat's coming off the ground. And it's the same with every level. But let's not waste any more time. Let's put the screws to Baron K. Rulenstein for good. Or, as Mo Sislak would say after a prank phone call, when I get a hold of him, I'm gonna sink my teeth into his cheek and tear his face off! What the blazes? So you're the ones responsible for scuttling my super secret submarine! This is the last time you'll spoil my plans! I'm gonna bash you good! Whoa, big man! Right! Look out, you cheeky monkeys! As you can see, he's nowhere near us. And he pulls a pretty nasty move. He traps us down here in a ball of, or a cell of electricity. And to hit him, you need to throw the steel cake up into the suction. All right, one hit. Oh, and check this out. Throw the cake right at him. It still registers his damage. Have some more. All right, so that's three easy hits. And he goes back up to the helm. So that means more fireballs. And now we're still stuck in this electric prison. But it's of no consequence. The fireballs are easy enough to avoid. And I've got a pattern down for actually landing every hit. That's four. 
After about five, he's gonna start something different. Don't exactly remember what, but it'll come back to me. Alright. Here we go. Alright, that's five hits. Oh, right, he starts moving the floor. Nothing too bothersome. But hey, it gets worse. Oh, yes, it gets much worse. Alright, that's six hits. Now the steel cake is going to be our saving grace. Watch. They'll shoot electricity at us. As soon as it's done, toss it back up at him. That's seven hits. Looking good so far. Okay. Looking good. Looking very good. You, on the other hand, not so hot. Oh, but now the floor's moving! Okay, that's nine hits. I think one more and we're done. Not today, Nancy boy. There we go. Now watch this. Goes back up. Take the wheel. And that's it. That's it. I shit you not, that's all there is to it. Sure, you get to land multiple hits unlike Donkey Kong Country 2's final boss. I don't know. I've got mixed emotions on that one. But hey... Did it flawlessly, didn't miss a single shot. So yeah, all good in the neighborhood. Let's get out of here. I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pay Wrinkly Kong a visit. After all, it's been forever and a day since we last saved our game. So you've defeated K. Rool, have you? I'm very proud of you. That's very nice. You know, Kongs, since you've been away, I think these birds are beginning to get a little restless. Is there any chance that you could find out where they want to go? If you need help exploring, try asking Funky. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next episode. So, I'm going to save it real quick, and I will see you in the grand finale. Until then, my name is JP, and you've been watching Channel 84 Winnipeg. See you then.